In 2017, United Cerebral Palsy of New York City, we elected to change our name and our brand to Adapt Community Network. Since that time, we've probably doubled the size of our organization. We're willing to take more chances on behalf of the people that we work with and let them take more chances so that they can grow. I think growth in our programs has to do with expansion of the types of activities that we're offering for folks. Throughout our history, but certainly over the last several years, we've connected with so many different experts in sports and activities. We've worked with ADAPT for approximately five years. The participants are absolutely wonderful. The staff is wonderful. My name is Danny Perez. The rare is so beautiful. I'm excited to go skiing. Danny, he likes to challenge himself and he just continues to hear about these things and go like, yeah, I want to do that. The plan for today is get out on the water and let's make it happen. I can't wait to jump on the river. I like to go fast today. largest private educators for students with disabilities in the state of New York. And we have an opportunity at our Lawrence Avenue campus to have people take advantage of our therapeutic pool. So up to three times a week, we have about 20 students that participate in the pool program. It is one-on-one -on -one with a staff member that goes into the water with them. The water temperature is very warm. And that warm temperature takes the pressure off of the student's joints. I see a lot of joy in that water. They're having the time of their lives. One of the things that has always been important to us is keeping everyone connected. The show is called WACN, which stands for Wake Up Adapt Community Network. It was something that started during the pandemic as a way for people to all log in to something where they could hear the news and the weather and some tidbits of the day. And it's hosted by one of our staff members, Alicia Angevine, who is probably the most enthusiastic person I've ever met in my life. The best thing about Wake Up Adapt is finding everyone so happy so early in the morning. We have the opportunity to have hundreds of people join us on any given day. They can join from home, they can join from the program sites, and they can even join from the residents. They have learned to use iPads, they have learned to use the Chromebooks, they have learned to use different applications, and they have grown to be very much more aware of the world outside of the walls of ADAPT Community Network. In the beginning, we're predominantly staff-led through working with people supported, so we love seeing the growth that they've taken over the shows. My job co-host is to announce the segments, also to pick the video and the song of the day. I hope that the future of Wake Up Adapt is not only left in my hands, that we get more co-hosts, more people supported who would like to host their own segments and help hold it down on the ear for the people, by the people, in those words. <laughs> After we changed our name and brand and focus on who we would serve, strategically we started thinking as where is the best place for us to expand those services. In the Hudson Valley, there are a number of very good agencies, but not a lot. It's a unique opportunity to share the wealth of knowledge that we have at ADAPT. We've done remarkable things in the city and it's time to, to expand. One of the organizations in the Hudson Valley that asked for our help is Inspire of Orange County and they are a statewide cerebral palsy affiliate that primarily runs preschool programs. We currently have three schools. It looks like family to me. 
It really does. I've worked at Inspire for 21 years. I didn't understand what teachers did until I had a child with a disability. And when I went into the classroom, I was amazed at all the different types of children and their disabilities and their abilities. I said, this is what I want to do. They were looking for a parent company with a lot of expertise and a lot of help that we could give them in organizing themselves better and providing better services for those kids, which has inspired us, quite frankly. I believe in service above self, and I feel that with ADAPT of the Hudson Valley. We've established ourselves in several counties. Here. We have several hundred people living in residences that we support. We have people in day programs and recreational programs. The most rewarding part is to just to impact the residents' lives, having fun in the community. I lived in my home for six years. My favorite things to do is to play piano. The staff in my home are fantastic. I commend ADAPT. They take the time to make sure that an individual feels independent. They empower them to be able to take care of themselves. When we think about growth in the future, we have to be able to take the means that we have, the resources that we have, and apply our ingenuity to be able to continue to grow and serve folks. The help and support of our donors and our friends will always, always be something we need and relish and be very grateful for. I think this is a great organization. We do things really that are innovative and exciting. We're out in the community. We're going to continue to bring everything that we do to a larger level and to more people. The way we measure success is in the words and in the actions and the attitudes of everybody we support and their families. It's only when they think we're successful that we know we are. I love living in my home. Thank you so much for that. My future is full of success.